and welcome to the show. And now, this. Oh. Hello, my little flaky testers. It is me, the lovely Marcel, sex symbol of the EEC. <laughs> oh, as we say in France, ASA. <laughs> In that case, that the French letters are so much more exciting. <laughs> the French language in there, it is so flamboyant. For instance, we say chips, and you say French fries. We say cross-channel ferry, and you say sailor. We say cream personnel, and you say yogurt. <laughs> Vive la France. You are sitting there saying, where are the jokes? And I say, goodbye. I mean, au revoir. I'm French, you know. <laughs> Hello, my little video buffs. It is me, the enchanting Marcel. The experience of a lifetime on legs. How are you? Are you in the mood? Good. I'll be there in 20 minutes. I just have this little joquette to do. What is it that a man does standing up, a woman sitting down, and a dog on three legs? <laughs> Did you get it? A man standing up, a woman sitting down, and a dog on three legs. It's shaking hands. <laughs> what else could it be? I'm coming round. Pop your coat. <laughs> Hello, my little silicon chips. It is me, the overwhelming Marcel. <laughs> but do not worry. I am not going to tax your little brains with some brilliant new stories that you need to think about. Just relax, and I will tell you a very old joke. They're so much more easy to digest. You will know it. You will know where to laugh. I will know where to stop. We work as a team. It's better that way, as the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> but that's another story. And come to think of it, it's better than this one. <laughs> Any road up, here is the joke. This fellow was engaged to a beautiful Eskimo girl. Well, she said she was beautiful. Who knows on the whole that fur? Anyway, they were in Alaska, engaged in the igloo, and extremely cold, when suddenly she broke it off. <laughs> oh. oh, hello, my little fast forwards. You naughty button pushers. It is me, the lovely Marcel. You know, I was just thinking to myself the other night how much a woman is like a continent. From 17 to 25, a woman is like Africa. Virginal and partly explored. <laughs> From 25 to 35, she's like America, exciting and welcoming. From 35 to 45, she's like Asia, dark and mysterious. From 45 to 55, she's like Europe, confused but interesting in places. And from 55 on, she's like Australia. Everyone knows where it is, but no one wants to go there. <laughs> Hello, my little menage au trois. It is me, the lovely Marcel. You know, I am a creature of the moment. A man of wild impulses. A gorgeous animal. I was with a beautiful woman the other day. I will not mention her name. It's a matter of honor, you understand. I said to her, Betty Wilkinson, <laughs> I want you now. And I lavished my attentions on her. And she was overwhelmed as usual. Mind you. They'll never let us in McDonald's again. <laughs> oh, wow, my little Big Mac. <laughs> my little dumb carillons. It is me popping my cock again for you. You know, I get so many letters from you out there in Plebland, and the message is always the same. Dear Marcel, video sex symbol, I need you. I want to make love to you. Well, I'm afraid you can't. After all, you don't put high octane in a mini minor or Dom Perignon in a Coke bottle. But I tell you what you do. The next time you are with your husband, close your eyes and think of me. And wherever I am, I'll be thinking of me too. <laughs> oh, Hello, my little male menopause. <laughs> I was thinking the other day how cruel life can be. Take me, for instance. I am still a magnificent figure of a man. I have always been, how you say, virile. How can I describe my love life? I'm a sort of a Duracell battery on legs. <laughs> but lately it seems, it seems to take me all night to do what I used to do all night. <laughs> can Marcel be getting older? I am beginning to notice little things. 
One in particular. <laughs> Let me illustrate my point. I was with this beautiful young girl the other night, and I was feeling very depressed. I said to her, what is a beautiful girl like you doing with an old man like me? And she said, Marcel, you are as magnificent now as you ever were. I said, oh, that's very sweet of you. Let's make love. She said, Marcel, we made love five minutes ago. I said, you see, my memory is going. <laughs> Hello, my little cheap there returns. <laughs> you know, I have been getting around to see this country by train. What do they call them? Have it away days. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, I love the train, don't you? One day, I was sitting in this compartment, and across from me was this beautiful young lady and her fellow. They were canoodling with each other. I didn't pay much attention. I was canoodling with myself. <laughs> you know, they can't touch you for it. <laughs> Suddenly, all the lights went out, and the beautiful girl screamed, Cyril, Cyril, all the lights have gone out. And I heard him say, do not worry, it is only a short tunnel. We will be through in a minute or so, and the lights will come back on. Twenty minutes later, the lights finally came back on. He turned to her and said, My darling, if I'd known the tunnel was going to be that long, I would have done it. <laughs> and she said, Cyril, if you didn't do it, who done it? <laughs> Please try to watch again next week, same time, same station, because you, the audience, are what it's all about. It's you who make the whole thing worthwhile. You are the reason for it all, and we love you. Good night, and God bless. <laughs> Little creep. <laughs>